Hello, this is Michael. Um, I'm going to try to show you how you make a Windows 11 bootable uh, flash drive. How you get out to uh, computers not supposed to have it on there. Um, it's, I, I download a program and and I, I format it with it. It's called Easy to Boot. And once you get that, it's like having multiple boot. Um, partition so you don't have to like uh, each USB drive. Okay, let's go to my Windows folder and I'll go to Windows 10 because Windows 11 is actual just based off of Windows 10. Uh, so, I'll see here. Yeah, Windows 11 Pro pre release. So, I got that. So uh, I'm going to copy it to my desktop, uh, paste, yeah, I'm going to push pause until it gets done. Okay, now it's uh, on our desktop, I'm going to open it up, okay, these boot files here, uh, it's not from, um, from, it's not from Windows 11 uh, disk. Actually, this is Windows 10 boot directory. Uh, all the files, except for the Win file. The Win file I extracted from the Windows 11 and replace and put in the resources and replace Windows 10 with the Windows 11 uh, Win file. The EI config file here, I'm made mainly made, so I can bring up uh, the selection of, of what when I want to boot from to make it open, so I know which one I want to install or from the Win file. So channel default VL zero. Okay, where's that? Here we go. Uh, here to install .esd. That is the Win file or the operating main operating system. What you will install from to your computer. That is Windows 11, not Windows 10. And after I got done replacing it, I made it a bootable uh, ISO file with Image Burner. So after get done making an ISO bootable. Uh, Windows file, I boot, uh, I burnt it, uh, actually I uh, did not burn it to a flash drive, I mean, I just drag and drop it into the ready to boot uh, flash drive, into Windows folders to Windows 10 folder. Then I boot it up from the, uh, from the USB flash drive, <coughs> from, from restarting the computer. But yeah, <clears throat> anyway, that's how it's done. I think I'm gonna post a link to my uh, OneDrive so you can download this ISO. You burn it onto a DVD. You can try and burn it on DVD. You haven't tried it, or you just do what I did, like um, boot uh, Windows to boot. Uh, it's the easiest way to do it. I will do a demonstration how you get to it. Pretty soon. Some ways you have to use the UFI BIOS or the old fashioned BIOS. Okay. See you pretty soon. Okay, now we're going to boot the computer. Go to your BIOS, or I, go and have, I have to go to Override. Focus. Uh, boot override. Um, sometimes it's a hit and miss. If it's UFI, if you have UFI, hit that one. Or sand, regular sand disk. Let's go with this first one here. Regular sand disk. 
Easy to Boot is the name of the uh, software. Now we just uh, go to uh, Windows install number 11. You see I have two install points. So we go to number two. It will load up the ISO images. I have one as uh, called Windows 10 custom. Uh, Windows sorry, Windows 11 Pro. Other ones at Windows 11 Pro pre-release, pre-release. Okay. Anyway, the custom one, Windows 11 Pro is the one I made, I believe. Um, so And we want, I always choose Windows 10 Pro, no prompt to repair. Focus, come on. Okay, set up the starting. Ice. Ice. Hi, yes, ice. <laughs> Okay, English, default, hit next. And this is where that EI feed config file is so you can see it. Windows 11 Pro 64. Hit next. And it will go here. When you hit uh, format or delete, I usually hit delete on my hard drives. And make it one source. Then you hit next to uh, uh, reformat and to install the Windows 11. That's how I do it. I won't do it now because I already got my windows installed on here, but that's how it's done. It See, this with this custom, um, this custom ISO I made, uh, it, it, you don't have those uh, uh, a block in your way. So if you don't have the recommended sources to run Windows 11, sorry, you, I mean, you don't have that on here. So, yep, that's how it's done. Thank you for watching. Bye.